Are you struggling to keep your breast milk supply up for your baby? Today, I'm gonna to talk about the science-based lactogenic or milk increasing foods that not only worked like magic for myself, but worked as a registered dietitian for the moms that I work with. I make new videos for new moms every week, so make sure that you hit the red subscribe button and the little bell next to it to make sure that you get notified, and it really helps me be able to continue to make free content for you every week. So many moms stress about low supply for their baby. With my first baby, he had a cleft lip and palate, and so I was forced to exclusively pump my breast milk, which makes it even harder to keep your breast milk supply up. So these are the foods that helped me, and then I actually went on to write an ebook about it to help other moms. If you have food supplements or strategies that has worked to help keep your supply up, I would love it if you put it in the comments and shared it with our community below. The first food that I'm going to talk about today is Moringa. Moringa acts on the anterior pituitary gland in the brain to increase breast milk supply. You can find it in health food stores or online. You can get it as a food and it's commonly eaten as a soup or it can be eaten, the pods can be eaten like green peas, but you can also get it from a health food store in supplement form. And the common amount to take to increase breast milk supply is the capsules come in 250 milligrams and taking one to two capsules per day. If you're not sure how to include Moringa in your diet, I've included a complete guide for all of the foods I'm going to talk about today, including recipes so that you can include them in your diet. The next lactogenic food is brewer's yeast. You want to look for a low bitter Brewer's yeast, when you're finding it, you can get it from the grocery stores or health food stores or online. And when you're starting with it, you want to start slowly and you can work up to doing one to two tablespoons per day. And I have recipes where you can include nutritional brewer's yeast in the guide below. Um, but it, there has been some reports that it can cause gassiness or fussiness in babies. However, it did not cause any gassiness or fussiness in my babies, and it really did help to increase breast milk supply. I'm going to talk about the next three foods together because the reason that they increase best breast milk supply is the beta-glucans in them. So barley has the highest amount of beta-glucans and then oats and then whole grains like brown rice and whole wheat flour. The next food is fenugreek, which is a plant and it can be um, eaten as a vegetable or it can be taken as a herb or the seeds can also be used as a spice and it has a very safe profile. So it's said that fenugreek increases milk supply by increasing prolactin levels. However, some scientific studies are showing that it's not beneficial. However, it is safe. So I'll leave it up to you whether you want to try that. And of course, I've included recipes in the link below. The next lactogenic food is a herb or it can be taken as a supplement and is milk thistle. So this is a very common herb that's also take, taken to protect the liver and a common amount recommended by herbalists or healthcare providers is 420 milligrams to increase milk supply. The next lactogenic food is shatavari, which is also known as wild asparagus. This increases milk production by increasing prolactin levels and also corticoids. It can be purchased in capsule or powder form. The capsules are usually recommended to take 500 to 1,000 milligrams per day and the powder 3 to 6 grams per day. It can also be used to make ghee or to make a jam or a herbal paste to consume as well. The next lactogenic food is fennel. Fennel is thought to have phytoestrogens that increase milk supply, and I have included lots of delicious fennel recipes to help increase your milk supply. One of the most common questions I get is, how do I lose weight without plummeting my breast milk supply? So along with the guide that includes all the lactogenic foods and the recipe, I included my free ebook, How to Lose the Baby Weight and Increase Your Breast Milk Supply. So you can grab that in the first link below in the description box. If you want to join a community of moms just like you who are working on breastfeeding, getting healthy, core exercises, you can go and join our Facebook group and I will put the link below as well. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe and hit the bell to let me know that you want to see more of these types of videos. 
Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.